everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would go over some more red oil paint because last year I uh, did a whole series of videos where I posted on different colors of, of oil paint and what was available. Uh, and there's a lot of reds out there that I didn't cover in my first video. So this is kind of a, a supplement video for the uh, a few more red colors uh, that I didn't talk about last time that you can try if you want. So let's get started. So uh, the first color over here, which is a pretty common one, is naphthol red. Now there's a bunch of different naphthol reds, uh, and some of them aren't really that light fast, uh, but one of the um, formulations that is pretty light fast that you can use is the naphthol red that is pigment red 112. And um, this is the Blue Ridge tube. Um, they have, uh, Old Holland calls their version uh, Chevin Engine Red, which is this. Anyway, so it's Naphthol Red, Pigment Red 112. And as you can see, it's a nice, very sort of neutral, middle of the road red. And if you mix it with white, it makes a very nice, clean pink color that's it's right, right. It's it's very it's like a very neutral red. Um, so the pink it makes is very clean and bright. It would be really good for florals. Uh, and things like that because when it doesn't when you mix it with right it doesn't gray down the way the cadmium uh, middle reds and deep reds do uh, but it doesn't get real violety like some of the uh, other cooler reds uh, so that's naphthol red pigment red 112 that's a very beautiful color moving on to the next one we have uh, now this is quinacridone red Last time in my uh, other red video, I talked about quinacridone uh, magenta and quinacridone rose, also known as permanent rose, uh, which are variations of, um, well, permanent rose is piglet, pigment, piglet. Permanent rose is pigment violet 19, and uh, quinacridone ro uh, magenta is pigment red 122. Uh, but there's another variation of the pigment violet 19, uh, which is called uh, quinacridone red, and that's what this is here. So, this is the quinacridone red, and it's it's a cool red, of course, uh, kind of a cool pinky red. And when you see when you spread it out, it's kind of a nice ruby magenta color, but it does lean toward blue a little bit. So when you mix it with white, it's going to get that bluish tint to it that makes it a little cooler and it isn't super violety it's less violety than the permanent rose uh, so it definitely does uh, stay a little bit more uh, red rather than violety uh, but it's definitely cooler than the naphthol which is next to it so uh, but it's a really nice red again this would be beautiful for florals um, possibly even flesh tones if you're a portrait painter uh, things like that so that is quinacridone red, PV19. And moving on to the next one. Uh, now this is a color that's uh, very nice. This is pyrrol scarlet, or pigment red 255. Uh, and this, I just happen to have, this is the Musini brand I have out here. But this is a nice, warm, sort of orangey scarlet red. Uh, and it's it would be a nice substitute for cadmium red light. Uh, so when you spread it out, you can see that it's definitely on the warm side. It's got sort of an orangey uh, tone to it. And so if you mix it with white, it keeps that warmth. But it's slightly less, slightly less orangey than actual cadmium red light. So it's a little, 
uh, right in between. Um, but see, when you mix it out with white, you can see it's got that nice orangey, warm tone to it. So again, perfect for flesh tones, um, great for florals, uh, landscape, if you need a warm red. Uh, and that's, so that's Pyro Scarlet. Um, and again, that's Pigment Red 255. So the next one here is, this one is a little bit more unusual. Now this is a gambling color uh, that I happen to have. Uh, it's called Paraline Red. And this is Pigment Red 149. Now this is a very deep, sort of crimson, purpley red. So when you, I spread it out and you see the, the mass tone, you can see it's, it's uh, like a sort of a ruby wine color red. Uh, and it's very transparent, and when you mix it with white, it has this interesting sort of warmth to it, where you expect it to be violety when you mix it with white, because it looks like it's going to be that way in the mass tone, straight from the tube, but it doesn't. It kind of ends up being a little warmer than you'd guess when you mix it with white. It's, it's just a very interesting color because it has this kind of dual quality to it that when you mix it with white, it moves away from its violetiness and gets a little warmer. Uh, but it's a beautiful color um, to glaze with. So I will show you that quickly here. Just take a little medium. And just put a tiny this into it. You see, when you glaze with it, it's this beautiful sort of warm red color. So, so that's uh, that is Paraline Red Pigment Red One Forty Nine. And then finally, the very last one that I have to show you today is actually not a single pigment red, as all the others are. This is a mixture, uh, but it's a color that I just really like, and it's made by uh, Lefranc and Bourgeois, and that's their French Red Vermilion Hue, and it's actually a mixture of uh, uh, Pigment Orange 72, which I think is... Oh, yeah, it says here, Benzimidazolone Orange and uh, Pyrrol Scarlet, the one that I showed you here. Um, but it makes a very nice substitute for uh, Cadmium Red Light. And it's just a really pretty color. Uh, it is a bit of a slow dryer. But it's just got this beautiful, really clean tone to it. When you mix it with white... That really makes it pretty. And like I said, if you're concerned about cadmiums, which you really shouldn't be because they're completely safe, but if for any reason you don't want to use cadmiums, uh, this uh, French Vermilion Hue from Lefranc is, is a great substitute for, for cadmium red light. It uh, would be great, again, like I said, for flesh tones, for autumn landscapes, uh, things like that. Uh, but they just have these... Uh, beautiful undertones that really come out when you mix them with white. So so that's a few a different uh, sort of maybe less common reds that I didn't cover in the first video on red uh, that if you want to try out, uh, go to your art supply store and, and give them a shot and see how you like them. I hope that you found this video entertaining and helpful and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. 
Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!